Hello and welcome to Student Success at Algoma University. My name is Erin and this video is all about academic advising. We are your first point of contact for academic success. Algoma University's academic success advisors are committed to ensuring that our students succeed and have the most enjoyable university experience. Academic advising and proper course registration help students succeed. By meeting with an advisor, students can ensure they are on track to have all of the courses they need to graduate. Make an appointment to meet with your advisor and then register for courses either through your advisor or online through the student portal. For more information, please log into the student portal and contact your advisor. To find out who your advisor is, please visit the student portal, click on Academics, and then Summary. You will see the names of your academic success advisor listed at the top of the page. Please feel free to reach out to your advisor anytime. Next, we will go through the components of a typical course schedule. Your course schedule will tell you which courses you're taking, the time and the location. If you're taking online courses, your course schedule might not include locations and times. First, term refers to the semester in which the course is offered. 22 fall, or F, is the fall semester of 2022. This term runs for 14 weeks at three hours per week, and each course equals three credits. 23W is the winter semester of 2023. This term runs for 14 weeks at three hours per week, and each course equals three credits. 22FW is the fall winter semester of 2022-2023. This term runs for 28 weeks and spans two semesters, typically from September to April. Courses in the fall winter term run at three hours per week, and each course equals six credits. The spring semester at Algoma University has three different sections to accommodate the diverse summer plans of our students. So, 23 SP is the full spring semester. This section runs for 12 weeks at three hours per week, and each course equals three credits. 23 SF is the first half of the spring semester of 2023. This section runs for six weeks at six hours per week, and each course equals three credits. 23 SS is the second half of the spring semester of 2023. This section runs for six weeks at six hours per week, and each course equals three credits. Now we will take a look at course codes. Each course is identified by a four letter code. For example, ADMN. This refers to the discipline. ADMN refers to a course in the discipline of business administration. This four letter code is then followed by a four digit code. For example, 1016. This refers to the specific course. 1016 refers to the course Intro to Canadian Business. Multiple sections of the same course are designated by AE, BE, CE, and so on. If there are a large number of students enrolled in one course, Often the course will be split into multiple sections. Sometimes these sections will have different professors. However, the course and the credits that you receive are the same. When reviewing the course schedule, you will want to note the course delivery with any schedule conflicts and prerequisite requirements. A breakdown of the course delivery types is available to view in your academic summary, but here are the options. Synchronous instruction includes a scheduled lecture and is delivered either in person or on campus, hybrid, uh, both on campus and able to join remotely, or via assisted technology, which is accessed remotely. There is also synchronous, asynchronous instruction, primarily offered as remote. Courses that are identified as online will be completely asynchronous instruction meaning the course materials are prepared prior to delivery and accessible to you to go through on your own schedule, keeping in mind any important exam dates and assignment deadlines. Your academic summary is an unofficial document that offers your student number, a way to contact your advisor, and it lists the terms, including program and courses you are registered in. There is an LMS column that offers links to either Moodle or Brightspace for each class you are registered in, so you can easily find where each course is hosted. You might now be asking, but what is a credit and how many credits should I earn? 
Each course is assigned credits. Typically, a three-credit course takes one semester to complete, fall, winter, or spring. Six-credit courses usually take fall and winter to complete. Most full-time students will take 15 credits in the fall and 15 credits in the winter, which is equal to five courses in the fall and five courses in the winter. Full-time study is defined as 80 to 100% course load, which is 24 to 30 credits per year. Maintain full-time status, you must take a minimum of four courses per term. Part-time study is taking fewer than 24 courses per year. You require 90 credits to complete a three-year degree and 120 credits to complete a four-year degree. Sometimes entering university can be a bit daunting. Students often feel like they have no idea what to expect when it comes to workload, time management, attendance, and so on. We hope to give you a brief look now, but please reach out to your advisor for more tips and guidance. Most full-time students will have 15 hours of class time per week, excluding labs and tutorials. It is reasonable for you to assume that for every one hour of class time, there will be two hours of homework or self-study. So 15 hours of class time plus 30 hours of homework equals 45 hours per week. This is a heavy workload. Your class schedule might look like this, but your schedule in reality might look like this taking into consideration homework, a part-time job, meals, extracurriculars, self-care, and sleep. Is attending class really important when professors post lecture notes online? Yes, it is extremely important. Punctual and regular attendance and engagement in online coursework is required of every student. This includes classes, labs, tutorials, and meetings with peers for group work. If you are sick or will be absent for an extenuating circumstance, please email your, your professor to notify them of your absence. Absences in excess of 20% may jeopardize receipt of credit for the course. There are also some important dates to remember. There are two add drop dates, one in fall and one in winter. These dates differ slightly from year to year but typically they are about one week after the first day of the semester. No registration or course changes are permitted after this date. Students who withdraw from courses after this date will receive a W on their academic record. Additionally, students failing to officially add courses before this date will not get credit for the course. There are also three last days to, uh, to withdraw, one for fall and one for winter. Uh, or fall winter courses. Um, students who withdraw after this date will receive an F credit for F grade on their academic record. Lastly, registration in courses represents a binding contract between the student and the university. Completion and submission of registration places a financial obligation on students whether they whether or not they attend the class or complete the course. So to wrap up, as a university student, Expect a demanding workload and manage your time wisely. Attend classes, labs, tutorials, and meetings with peers. Familiarize yourself with adding and withdrawing from classes. Be aware of the financial commitment of adding a course. Next, I'm going to walk you through what your meeting with an academic success advisor might look like. The first step is to prepare for the meeting. Your advisor is there to help you and guide you. However, doing some searching on your own is always a good idea to make the most of the time you have with your advisor. Take a look at the course schedule on the Algoma University website. Familiarize yourself with the courses that are offered and make note of the courses you know you should take for your degree program as well as courses that interest you. The courses that may interest you but are not from your major area of study are your elective courses. Before you meet with an advisor, think about the link between course options and possible career, careers of interest, as well as courses that complement your program of study. For example, if you are studying marketing, taking an elective course in psychology might add great value. Next, explore general areas of interest. Your university years are a time to explore and grow. If you are studying music, but have always been interested in world politics, why not explore that interest? Lastly, consider a minor. 
In taking 24 credits from a field of study, you are adding so much to what you can offer post-graduation while learning incredible things along the way. What you might consider next is your co-curricular record. Supplementing your academic summary with involvement in clubs, student government, and mentorship programs sets you apart to future employers, makes your university experience richer, and most importantly, fosters personal growth and meaningful peer and mentor relationships. Your next consideration is experiential learning. At Algoma University, we offer cooperative education, study abroad opportunities, international internships, career link, and cutting edge student research opportunities. Some programs are self-paced, some are scheduled. You can choose depending on your availability and interest. There really is something for everybody. Ask your advisor how to get involved in these incredible experiential learning opportunities. Now that you have considered your academics as well as your co-curricular opportunities, you are ready to meet with your advisor. When you sit down with your advisor, together you will create an audit sheet. An audit sheet is a shared Google Sheet spreadsheet that tracks all of the courses you have taken, are currently taking, and also operates as a great planning tool for future semesters. Students often experience a great sense of relief at the clarity that an audit guide offers because they can really see what their time at Algoma University will look like. We encourage you to set up a meeting with your advisor to create your own personal audit guide. Once you have met with your advisor, discussed your academic experiential learning goals, and created your audit sheet, here are some great questions that you might ask to make sure we have all the information that you need. Have I selected the core courses required for entry into second year? Do I have the science, humanities, or social science requirements in my chosen elective? Do I have a choice of day, evening, or online classes? When should I buy my books? Do you have any tips for success for me? Finally, here are some tips for success directly from the Academic Success Advisors at Algoma University. Meet with your academic success advisor or faculty advisor at least once per term. Prepare a four-month calendar with due dates for assignments and test exam dates per course. Know and utilize the resources available on and off campus. Get help when you need it, sooner rather than later. Take advantage of experiential learning opportunities, clubs, student life, etc. This is your university experience. The Academic Success Advisors at Algoma University, as well as the entire student success team, are always here to answer your questions and direct you to the best possible solution so that you can succeed and thrive. As always, your success is our success.